So to build the turnstiles, you're first going to go into primitives. You're going to select the first block, change the color to this gray color right here, and change the texture to metal. And we'll do that, enable precision mode, and then change the like the thing to the smallest that it can go. And then you're going to build a sort of rectangle frame. Increase this just a little bit so it's a little bit bigger. Make that like half of the size of a cube then you're going to go up this way about the length of the about maybe this high it's the length of the waist or that's a little too big so we're gonna make it a little smaller so that's it so make it like the length of the arm there's the shoulder length that would make more sense and then since it's about just make it like elbow height that looks a good and about realistic and increase that so towards a perfect square uh now once you do that you're going to turn these to the side and line these up like so and fill in the spaces to where you have a f a frame like this select this piece i'm going to select this primitive right here the upside down slope and align it with the top piece and then size this so that it is the same size over there I'm gonna shorten the walls and then once you have it the right size we're going to then try to make it at like a 45 degree angle like the slope of that that should be good enough and then just paint over just paint that piece of that and you're going to select uh, this primitive right here make sure that it is centered with this right here make it as small as you can then angle it so that it is the exact angle of that make it a little bit bigger so that it covers about uh the entire thing in length with a little bit of room on the top and bottom like so and then pull it out a little bit and that should be fine and then it may shoot out the back so if it does that just pull it forward until it doesn't or you can pull it up put it up there we go that looks fine now change it to metal and the black color now you are going to then make sure that it is at a flat angle like this make it as thin as it can go then you are going to change the color to this metal right here or we'll, we'll make it a little bit wider and then you're going to align it in that circle right there and then make it like the length again make it like the length of the shoulders which that should be fine and then you're going to then put to 22.5 snapping angle it like so and angle it one 25 degree snapped that way then just size it to where it fits in there then do the same on the other side now see that my, if that does look a little too small you don't like it then go back in and change it to 11.25 snapping and you know just adjust it to where it looks more realistic or a bit bigger like that see that looks fine and then after that you are going to go up here and you want to place two orbs I'm gonna place the first orb there, the second one right there. Uh, you can go ahead and change it to off. 
and then right here you're going to just bring this up a bit and you're going to make a little like pad that it that, that they sit on resize it towards that size And then make it change the color to white and then you're going to get a sequencer you do not have to do this but you can if you want and then you're going to select this one right here place it here and make it to where um goes to five seconds and change the color to lime green and then you're going to select the next one and you're going to change it to red and that's going to play for about two seconds and this should work now like so and then once the five seconds is over it will then change to red and if you want that to play constantly get a timer and add that in periodic activation. Play every seven seconds. Now it should be playing every seven seconds. I'll see, there you go. Also, I recommend uh, turning down the brightness and the, um, the range so that it doesn't color everything else. So now it works like that. That's how you make the small turnstiles that you would walk through. Now, if you would like to make the big security scanners, you are then going to select the same material that you made before, and you're going to increase it down to the bottom and make it a little bit above guest height. So that should be fine. Build two walls, and again, about the length of the, the shoulder length of the human or your Roblox character then fill in the space like this and um shorten the height to about that size a little bit bigger than the previous walls and increase then decrease the, le the length going that way then you're going to select this part increase it a little bit on every side I'm gonna pull it down and then you're going to place that on both sides and change the color to that dark gray and up here I'm going to decrease it just a bit and you're going to make a little section to where the lights are going to go. I'm going to make one cube there and you're going to go a little bit over it and make it smaller. You're going to select that texture, make it black. Then you have that and you're going to take your orbs from before and place two orbs. right beside each other and then also if you would like to sync them up you are able to add the first orb right here change it to green then add the second orb right there you can change it to red and now see they both coordinate with each other and they both go at the same time and then the guests can also then walk through the metal detector. You can place these at the entrances of your park and I even use them at the entrance to my park. They look really realistic and guests can walk through it also.